We want to know in our poll, are your neighbors following the water restrictions? Look like your options are yes, they're rule followers. So no, we have some rule breakers in the neighborhood. Let us know online on our app or online at 13WMAZ.com slash vote. Courtney Jacobazzi met up with the Monroe County Fire Chief Matt Perry to talk about how firefighters are feeling that heat through our drought. Monroe County Fire Chief Matt Perry and his crew have been awfully busy lately. Well, I'd say it's 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 every day that we deal with some kind of outside fire as opposed to a home or a car or something like that. Thanks to our terribly dry conditions. So when we see these things, everything dries out, humidity gets low, runs of a power higher risk of these fires that not only start easier, they spread faster. Which lately has been the case. We'll see a fire that starts up on the side of I-75 at the bib line and go all the way to the north end of the county with little spot fires all the way up the interstate. When it comes to fighting these frequent fires, they need water. Monroe County remains under a water restriction and following the new guidelines can be important for public safety. Here in Monroe County, fire trucks like these typically carry between one to 3,000 gallons of water, but sometimes that's just not enough. Same place you get the water out of your tap is the same water we're going to pull out of the out of the ground out of the hydrant. There's a lot of people that don't know that. Um, it's nice if there's something there. Which is why even the fire department is doing their part to conserve. Tell you how serious we're taking it. We've stopped washing fire trucks. And Chief Perry hopes the public will take the restriction seriously too to keep people safe until we can get some much needed rain. In Monroe County, Courtney Jacobazzi, 13 WMAZ News. And Chief Perry says it's important not to throw cigarette butts out the car windows because those can start fires and also be mindful of the train of the chains on trailers. Sparks from those chains can also easily start fires.